Welcome back ladies and gents. Um, if you do uh, manage to get to this point, um, which is component 2 learning A and B for the mock, then well done. That means that you uh, will have completed the learning aim A mock as well as the real thing. Uh, hopefully you've had an opportunity to finish both, got a, a grade and you're happy with it before starting this section. Now this component, component 2, can be a tricky one. There's a lot of technical things that you have to learn and use. So it's a very good idea to make sure that everything in one um, learning aim is done before you move on. Because otherwise you're making more work for yourself. Now before we actually start, um, as always, the first video for each uh, learning aim is always spent, you know, looking at the actual assignment brief itself. So we're going to have a read through the first part before we start. Now this part here at the beginning is no different. Um, you obviously want to put the issue dates and the handing date when the time comes in. Um, this part here, you'll notice that it hasn't really changed. This is very much the same as the previous learning aim, learning aim A. It's talking about how there's two organizations, the data. So in the mock, obviously, you've got Draws and Academy data and you've got the Cineworld data. In the real thing, there'll be two other organizations with two other lists of data for each one. So for the task, in learning game B, you're going to be given these two, as I said. What you need to do is choose one. So you're not working with both of them. You're only going to be expected to work with one of these data sets or sets of data, files even, and turn it into a dashboard. It needs to be a fully efficient and comprehensive dashboard and you have to show and evidence a set of data manipulation tools. A dashboard, if you remember, looking back to previous videos and if you, has, if, if you haven't already discussed this in lessons, I'll just summarize very quickly and it's already given to you here anyway. A dashboard is a very simple um, one page spread displaying all the import inf important information from somewhere else and the reason why it's done is because typically speaking a table which is what most data um, that's provided uh, that you will be provided even will come in the form of for most people anyway that presentation method it's um, far too complicated confusing and it's not as easy to work with so in a business environment a dashboard can be very very useful it outlines the key summary information and that's the key point here going back to the first points right at the beginning we were talking about the difference between data and information you're going to be given data you have to make it useful by applying data manipulation tools and t uh, features and skills to make it useful and by doing so it becomes information so in this learning aim you're about you're going to do this there's a very practical section here now the learning aim a was a lot of um writing and proving your knowledge of the key concepts terms um, for you to actually start this and you needed that information that knowledge before you could start here anyway in this section you're going to be working with excel so you have to do a lot of practice here and you're going to be using a number of uh, a range of different tools some of which if not all you may have never come across in the past so you really have to pay attention and work hand in hand now, if you are using these video tutorials then I suggest that you you don't take things too literally you learn on the go and you try your best to understand what is actually happening rather than try and emulate the exact same skills this will make more sense when we start the next section um, the key points here, dashboard needs to summarize key data into information using tables, charts and gauges. Your dashboard should identify patterns, that's going to be the main uh, point of your dashboard. It needs to show key patterns and trends. And this is what you're going to do in this section. You're going to import data into a spreadsheet, you're going to apply data processing methods and data ma manipulation tools or skills. Use formula to produce summaries. Produce a data, uh, sorry, a dashboard, and display it um, as a summary. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to do as a written document, which is this document here in front of you, uh, for the mock anyway. 
Um, and for the wheel thing, obviously you can have something similar, uh, but not uh, well, well lacking any of the information and help and prompts that you get in the mock um, that you would get in these videos. Following that, you have this table that explains what you need to do for each grading criteria. It's always a good idea to have a look, uh, have a look through this to see and remind yourself what it is that you need to um, do and evidence for you to get those top marks. There's a list of different websites here and video tutorials. I would strongly, you know, very, very highly recommend watching uh, watching these things, uh, these clips. As I said in the previous video, you just have to click it once and then link shows up here. So if you want to look at these, I would uh, definitely recommend that. This one in particular, uh, and these, these these ones here, that shows you how to use Excel. The more practice you get using the software, the more fluent you'll get and the more easy it is. I've been using Excel for years now. Um, literally about I'd say about 20 years and even I can say that sometimes it can get confusing so the more um, what's the word I'm looking for the more exposure you get to the software the more you use it the easier it will be it will get it's like learning how to ride a bike if you just read about it it's not gonna work the more you get yourself onto the seat and try it and the more you do it um, and most time you spend on it, you become more fluent at it. So it's very, very um, wise if you have a look through these video clips, uh, these tutorials, as well as my tutorials that uh, are included in these files. I'm going to end the video here, but before I do, I just want to highlight that it might be worth looking, uh, looking at the example work the sample work from the exam board. Now, if your teacher hasn't shown you this, I'd ask them to show you a copy, maybe print it out for you. Now, there's always a risk um, that people look at these sample work and then they try to emulate it like for like, or like, and that's not possible and it's not a good idea. Although it's still a good idea to have a look at it at least, to see what it is that you're hoping to get.